only in editing do I make my film. It's probably what makes me more of an artist than a filmmaker. I never have a storyboard. I, I really don't know what I'm going to do and my filming, all the material I've filmed is just my stuff, my material. I normally edit to the narrative of time, you know, albeit the setting of a sun or the whatever. But with film, I was working with a lot of separate images. And I had to use another way, another pulse, as you say, of, of cutting the film. I did that using the, the floor of film, you know, the natural uh, waste, which is all the flash frames. But in film, the flash frames were magical because they were tinted and they gave me the passport to do something which would never happen in digital anymore. Digital is so known and, and film is all about the unknown and as an artist and you know I caught the unknown, I need the unknown. Um, it's, the unknown for me is, is so akin to sort of um, you know what art is too. So it's um, I think that's probably one of the, the greatest differences between the two mediums. Another thing which I think is also incredibly important, which is what film, my work is about particularly, is the reliance on post-production. Filming these days, you just, um, you, you're just making a template, and the template is what gets sent down the line to, to various people, and, um, and you lose the originality, you lose the, the moment of originality, you lose that. Uh, you know, the authorship, you lose the intensity of the making. And, you know, with film, I, I deliberately wanted to make it entirely inside a camera, which is also involves a level of blindness. You don't know what you're going to get. You're, it's always a, a sort of slightly mysterious. And in my other films, this blindness is, is also, for me, quite a working tool because you film and then weeks later you see your footage. But in that time, your memory of what you have done is shifting the entire time and so it's much more mercurial when you see what you have it's already traveled a journey whereas this immediacy I think is you know another difference it's another difference it's all about difference it's all about you know and of course I'm not even going near the the importance of the grain the importance of you know you know the chemistry the mistake the flaw the light how it's man how it's made you know, its relationship to alchemy, its relationship to magic. There was a, a special effects man who told me that film mistakes are beautiful, whereas digital mistakes never are. And it's really true. And I rely on mistakes often, and not just clear mistakes, even things like overexposure, underexposure, you know, a bleaching of the frame, a flare. And there's something so um, essential about something that is flawed. Film, my project that's showing here at ACCA, is made returning back to the origins of early cinema in the sense of using all that invention and energy that surrounded the new medium. I wanted to investigate what was possible with the aperture gate masking. It was a long story, but in the end I wanted to try and put the illusion of sprockets inside the image, as well as other shapes and devices. And I ended up with a young architect called Michael Berling to develop this aperture gate masking system that we made using a state-of-the-art digital process, which is three-dimensional printing. Multiple exposure within the single film frame. I can actually mix time in one frame. And it just allowed me infinite potential. And, you know, it's ironic that at the time when this medium is on the verge of extinction. I've, I've developed a way to make, you know, a, a new, new way of making films. And, and I would like to, you know, I would like to take it further if, as long as, you know, the, the stocks endure and the, you know, the stuff in, endures.
Obviously, the situation with film at the moment is quite dreadful in the sense that it's very, very endangered. Um, especially, I have to say, film print, which is what I use because I still project my films and I still cut my films as print. Unfortunately, we rely on the industry as artists to keep the, you know, the manufacturer um, financially buoyant and they are still using negative to some extent but they're trying to get rid of print and um, print is most endangered of all. I'm terrified they're going to stop the manufacture of print. Young people are not being taught how to make uh, film anymore and therefore yes they don't have the discipline of film but my film shoot for film, my crew were mostly under 30. They were the generation that had been taught on film, but were now only getting to work really with digital. And they were so excited and engaged. I can see a frustration there and um, a sort of a desire to return to the material quality of, of film. They want to use their hands again. People are needing that encounter. And I think it's a side of the digital revolution that was unexpected. And these things are getting momentum because I really think there's a, there is a reaction going on. And I think digital cinema will come into its own, but I don't think it's taking the right road right now. We need both. We need to keep both, two types of cinema. The wrong people are making the decisions. It's entirely financial and, and cynical. But, uh, you know, yes, the, if, the st if the Hollywood stars start saying that they can only be filmed on negative, this is also good news. Um, you know, there's Italian film stock who are trying to make film stock. You know, there are little green shoots. This has got to be positive. It's got to mean that actually it's worth keeping. And, you know, maybe there's signs of hope, but at the same time, if you go and you know, try and process a film at the moment, it's, it's pretty difficult. The biggest thing is, is just to get into the mindset of the industry and persuade them that they can have two mediums. That's it, they can have two mediums. It's really getting into their mindset and saying, they're different. Look at the history of cinema. This would not have happened with digital, don't you get it? You know, this is because of film, that's because of digital. If somebody wants to make a film, let them, don't stop them. I still think that film has the means to make poetry. It has innate beauty. I'm still waiting to be seduced in the same way by a digital media. And digital has other things. It has, you know, it's practical, it's, it's cheap, it's versatile, it's light, it's, it's not cumbersome. But what it, it, it doesn't have is this is it internal light um, that film has and also um, it's deep relationship to time. Clearly I favour film, but I'm trying to be non-judgmental about the two. I just need to be very clear that they are, you know, you make, you make images differently with film and digital. And um, it makes for different cinema and it makes for different art.